Suppose we have a reaction mechanism where we don't know the rate determining step. So in this case we need to use an approximation method to determine the rate law. And we're going to use the steady state approximation. So what we assign is a rate constant to the forward reaction of step 1 and the backward reaction of step 1 and we assign another rate constant for step 2. And we're going to use the irreversible step 2 to determine the rate law for our reaction. So we have the rate of the reaction is K2 multiplied by the concentration of B. Now given that B is an intermediate, this is in our final rate law, we need to write the rate law in terms of our reactants. So what we do in using the steady state approximation is take the rate of change of the concentration of B over time is equal to zero. So this means that the rate at which B is consumed is equal to the rate at which it's produced. So effectively in step one, B is being produced in the forward reaction. So what we have is K1F multiplied by the concentration of A squared. And in the backward phase of this equilibrium reaction, B is being consumed. So we have minus K1B multiplied by the concentration of B. And in the second step, B is being consumed to produce C. So we have minus the rate constant K2 multiplied by the concentration of B. And now we can solve this equation for B. So if we subtract the first term from both sides and multiply through by negative 1, what we get is K1F by the concentration of A, all squared, is equal to K1B plus K2, and that's multiplied by the concentration of B. And then if we divide through by this sum, what we get is the concentration of B is equal to K1F over K1B plus K2 by the concentration of A squared. And now if we substitute for B in our rate law, well what we get is K2 multiplied by K1F over K1B plus K2 and that's all multiplied by the concentration of A squared. And given that this here is some constant, then we can write our rate law is equal to some rate constant K multiplied by the concentration of A squared. And I'll see you in the next video.